Greetings everybody, my name is Captain Janosik and welcome back to another Challenge Rift. Challenge Rift, you're on 25 for Europe and we have the LOD Frenzy Barb. Uh, you are very powerful, but yet you are very squishy. But we get a shield pile on somewhere on the first floor and that one will save you tremendously. Especially, it will carry you through most of the second floor as well. Right. What I definitely want you not to do is finish this challenge rift until the season starts and you create your character. Otherwise you will lose your challenge rift cash and that's going to be very bad for your season start. All right. So what I want you to do is activate your battle rage. And then just use your frenzy all the way through the entire rift. If you have 10 stacks of it, that's when you do the most amount of damage. That's what you want. You want those 10 stacks. You can give up your battle rage all the time. That doesn't matter. You, you can go full frenzy. As long as you're hitting monsters, your frenzy stacks remain. All right. When you enter the third floor, that is the moment that you activate your Wrath of the Berserker. Because in the very beginning, uh, there are two elites, one has fire, and the other one has arcane beans. So, very dangerous. Alright. That's all I want you to do. Alright guys. Without further ado, let's get into the rift. Alright guys, here we go. Challenge rift drone 25. So, we're not put on Cursed Woods and activate your Earth of Berserker, your Battle Rage, and your uh, Frenzy. And all you have to do is go forward. Guys, do not do this challenge rift until you create your seasonal character. Otherwise, you're going to lose your challenge rift cash and that's going to jeopardize your season start. All right, here we're going to go across the 30 lead already. Make sure that your frenzy stacks do not evaporate. You need those 10 stacks. Those 10 stacks are godly. Like, it makes you extremely powerful. Right, here we find the shield pile, and now we're just gonna go to the second floor. Right, second floor, it's a cave with fatty explosions and zombies. We have a shield pile, and it will carry you through most of this floor. Also, when your Wrath of the Berserker right, comes out of cooldown, do not press it until you're on the, on the last floor. The last floor is a deadly combination of wasps, fatty explosions, poison. So, keep that in mind that you do not press your Wrath of the Berserker until the third floor again. Alright, we make quick work of these blue and now we pick up the power pylon and basically what we do now is just straight to the end after collecting these blues right now my shield pylon is gone so i need to you need to be very careful when your shield pylon drops you are once again squishy as hell don't want that here's the final blue for this floor click on it and then just go to the next right when you go over this bridge that's the moment you click your red foot berserker up like, you instantly find two blue packs and they have a tendency to spawn Moltons. And I just noticed that I missed an orb. Right, here we come across a yellow. I walked over the poison, poison and it instantly killed you. So beware of that. Right, who do we spawn? We spawn Perendi. All you have to say to Perendi at the end is see you next week, dude. All right, guys. So you just saw me clear challenge rift. If you followed paths that I take, you will definitely clear it. Once again, do not do this challenge rift until Friday after you create your season character. All right, guys. Have a good one. Stay healthy and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.